if you like crafting, there is a big chance you have one or more whips not finished yet. Hi, my name is Agatha. Welcome in Agatha's Cottage. Let's talk about new challenge that's open to any crafters. So basically knitting, sewing, crochet, card making, candle making, I, maybe you are making jewelry. If you have a project that you haven't finished for a while, dig it up. It's time to make it. Lisa from One Lisa Show decided to create new challenge directed towards all the crafty people and it's to finish some of those unfinished projects that we have lingering around our crafty spaces and i'm a very very guilty of having a good few projects that are um, not finished for a year or longer october is extremely busy month for me so i decided i'm gonna find some projects that are already partially made and finish them to make more space for another round of cutting out. Let's first talk about some rules for the challenge. So you need to pick a crafty make that you haven't finished and finish it in the month of October. On 30th of October, you need to post on Instagram using hashtag finish that weep 2024 and you need to tag Lisa at one Lisa show. I will leave a link to her kickoff video in the description below. There are a number of prizes that you can win so it's worth entering the challenge. There are vlogs almost every day. I think before me was Adam from Adam Sows. You all know Adam, he's fabulous and tomorrow will be gorgeous Tamlin from Sewing on a Time. I have three projects that I promised myself I'm going to tackle this month. One is almost done, needs to be slightly finished. The other one is, I would say, 70% done. And the last one is just cut out. So first project that I just need to finish a little bit is this top. So it's a pattern from Autopro magazine. It's one of my favorite patterns for the kind of... Uh, tank top or sleeveless top um, and I made this top using remnants of the cotton jersey from Ecobee that I made my 2023 frog tail dress so pop the picture of my dress somewhere here and that's Betty dress by Sinclair patterns and I had some of this fabric left so I whipped the top the only things that are needed are armbands neck band and hem. And why I didn't finish it? Because I needed to change my overlocking thread for brighter color because I had very uh, urgent make to make. And then I forgot about this because, you know, I roll it, put it on the pile to finish when I changed the overlocker thread again. And since then, I think I had black thread in my overlocker six or seven times and I still didn't reach for it. So my need for this month is to finish that so i can have a quick win the second make that i have partially finished is hacked patina blouse so um, a few months ago i did collab with um sam from so let's sparkle with sam and we did patina blouses and because i needed to do fba um, i did the trial version in cotton poplin uh, just to see you know where the problematic areas are and I discovered that I needed a one inch FBA so I did FBA and I decided to test it before I will do it in the final fabric because I didn't have time added the time to actually finish the make I just put the side seams together the shoulders etc and tried whatever it will fit or not so the shell of the top is made I started doing the um, the placket and the binding and everything, but I didn't have time to finish. I have sleeves cut out, so um, I'm going to show you the sleeves. 
so long sleeves cut out but i haven't done anything um in relation to sleeves yet so i need to finish that blouse it will be perfect for current autumn season and you know it's animal print so it's in fashion so that's my plan number two my plan number three is something that alice and i cut out oh six months ago seven months ago so uh, last year or yeah i think it would be last year we got a fabulous angora full angora knit from beyond the pink door we got it in two color ways kind of um melange magenta for me and melange fuchsia for alice i have it in the bag so um i had pattern traced i cut out everything and i never actually put it together so it's this cardigan uh, from Autobre magazine, so that's Autobre magazine uh, 4 from 2022 and this just lovely pink cardigan and I do need to finish it so I will have pink overlock threads in my overlocker today so I'm planning to work on this over the weekend so hopefully by the time you are watching this video it will be done but i won't show you until the 30th of october on instagram so those ones are the three makes that i'm planning to finish during this month what about you are you planning to participate do you do other crafts or sewing is your main thing um, i did try crochet and i did try knitting but they aren't really my thing i do like embroidery occasionally and i did a jewelry a little bit many many years ago i still have all my supplies from back then and occasionally alice and i have an afternoon of fun and we do jewelry together i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching um if you are new here i would appreciate if you could press that little subscribe button of course if you like my contents i know i'm not everyone's cup of tea don't forget to check other vloggers participating in this vlog or two and go watch Lisa's kickoff video. Happy sewing or crafting and if you're sewing don't forget clean your sewing machine and change your needle. Bye!